Hi, welcome back. I'm Nicole. I'm Betty. And we're so happy you decided to join us today. Yes. We have a really fun show planned, a really fun drink planned. Um, a fun topic. It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. I'm so excited for the drink because it, um, yes. it has the heen in it. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you said that and not yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> We decided to do a little play on a margarita today, Mm -hmm. so we're going to do a watermelon margarita. So we've got tequila, watermelon, lime. Um, I mixed up, or I kind of mushed up some watermelon and got the juice out of it. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I didn't bring it. I have a muddler. I have a muddler. (laughs) We'll bring it. it We'll 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 display it it on the next segment. Yeah, we'll leave it right in the middle. (laughs) One of my very dear friends, and she's a fan of the show, she felt really bad for us because... We were using the ball crusher. No, the meatball maker wasn't cutting it. But so we love yeah. you. Thank you so uh, much. You're the best. Thank you for watching. Um, so let's get to the drink, okay? Let's do it. So we have rimmed our glasses with tahine. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I carry tahine in my purse. That's so weird. To me. <laughs> um, so we put that on our rim today, and in here I've already kind of pre-mixed everything. It's watermelon juice, so I just took watermelon and crushed it up through a sieve. I squeezed two limes in there and then just a little bit of simple syrup. Um, so we're going to pour that. Um, actually, let's put some watermelon chunks in there too because I think yeah. that would be cute. So we'll put some watermelon chunks in here and then we'll pour our watermelon juice over the top. Okay. Okay. Do you mind if I touch your things? No. Okay. And then is the alcohol tequila already in there? It is not in there yet. Oh, okay. That's a little surprise for you all. (laughs) So we're going to pour this over and look. Oh, how pretty. How pretty. And this shit is fresh because it is straight from the teat of the watermelon. <laughs> it is fresh squeezed. I didn't know watermelons had teats. They do. You can just you just squeeze it over like that. A little squeeze. It's really nice. So the fun part of this drink. So okay. I have my lime that we squeezed in there. Okay. I have not tried this yet. I'm a little scared. I'm scared too. Okay. So our limes have been just kind of hollowed out. Okay. We're going to pour the tequila in the lime. Okay. Okay. <gasps> do, 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 do. For some reason, it doesn't seem like enough tequila. Well, I'll give you a little extra. <laughs> but for the fun part, we're oh going to set gosh. this bitch on fire. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do it. Not with that one. <laughs> Maybe with this one. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. This is so embarrassing. There, there we you go. go. There you go. <gasps> Oh, you can't see it, but it's lighting. There Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, nice. I was hoping for a bigger flame. I know. (laughs) Pretty subtle. We should have gotten like one of those long lighters. Like a big torch. Yeah, (laughs) that would have been nice. So once the flame dies down, Mm -hmm. then you just squish your lime in there. Oh, so cool. And because you're an alcoholic. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. (gasps) And okay. you too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let me see. Hand me the spoon. Let me stir it okay. up a little bit. Here you go. You don't want all the tequila in one. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yes. You know what? I love the colors. Mm-hmm. You know, the green, red, and white. It's yeah. like, this is like, this would be the perfect Cinco de Mayo drink. <gasps> yeah. Right? Uh, next month. Yeah. We have to um, figure out how to get the torch really Really big. Yeah. I really think big. I need a little more alcohol next time. So can stir it up I was a little, a little scared that I was going to set my face on fire. Yeah, we can't have that on the show. No. <laughs> Luckily, you know, we don't have HR, so there's no liability issues. We're fine. That's true. <laughs> okay. So what are we going to name this drink? So I figured in honor of last month, well, March was like Women's History Month, mm-hmm. um, and it's a margarita. Mm-hmm. We should call it the Consentorita. Consentorita. <laughs> is yeah. that perfect? <laughs> it is perfect. Like, we need to start trademarking these names. We are. That is trademarked. <laughs> I've already trademarked it. Don't try. It's already been done. Consentorita. Consentorita. Mm-hmm. For all the ladies out there. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Cheers. Are you ready? Yes. Cheers. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's good. It is good. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That's nice. 
The watermelon is so fresh. It is. Right from the teat. Right from the teat. <laughs> They're hard to find on the watermelon, but if you find the teat, it's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you go searching for the teat? You got it's all feel. It's you all close feel? your eyes and you just start rubbing. <laughs> once you feel it you'll know it's is there. that kind of like what you do with everything it is that's how you gotta, gotta, gotta use feel, all your senses start rubbing <laughs> once you find it you know <laughs> <laughs> then you just juice that bitch so cheers to consentorita woman's what was it women's, women's month, history history month yes cheers to you all out there mm-hmm. you have to try this drink it's so good mm-hmm. i'll try to remember to post the recipe yes so Yay. Love it. Well, stay tuned. Um, we have our Q&A session coming up with, uh, as always, they're very interesting questions. We'll see what happens. Questions. <laughs> <laughs> I have some good ones, but they're not too perverted. Especially because the last few weeks you've really been slamming me with I, some. I did. I toned it down a bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.